Hi, I'm Dr. Max here at Maxi Medical Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic. And now let's talk about non-surgical methods of hair treatment. What is important to realize before we develop the plan of medication treatment or other modalities such as uh, laser treatment, we need to diagnose properly what's the cause of the hair loss. So we always start with very thorough examination, going through medical history, we'll get lab as needed, possible biopsy. Once the cause of the hair loss is determined, it will be addressed accordingly to treat the reason. For example, a hypothyroidism or low thyroid function can cause hair loss. So by addressing low thyroid function, we can pretty much fix the cause of the hair loss. Anemia, excessive uh, hormonal release, such as excessive testosterone. In women with polycystic ovarian syndrome can cause some hair loss. So it has to be always patient tailored to address most common reason for the hair loss. When we discuss androgenetic alopecia, the reason for the hair loss is due to DHT damage or dehydroxytestosterone that happens over time. Each one of us will have a different sensitivity to DHT and that's why everyone degree of hair loss is different. In some areas of the scalp are more sensitive, some areas are less sensitive such as uh, occipital parts such as, such as donor area. So over years several strategies were developed to treat medically the hair loss and stop the progression of the disease. The forefront treatment that has years of proven efficacy is finasteride or trade name Propecia. Finasteride is 5 alpha reductase inhibitor which blocks the conversion of testosterone into DHT. As a result, there is less DHT level at the hair follicle that over time can decrease the progression of the hair loss. The other medication that being investigated and is considered to be off-label is dutasteride. It works similarly but it blocks two types of receptors. Other modalities that include are melatonin and there are a few studies that show it has some properties to block in DHT and help with the hair loss when it's used topically. We can discuss ketoconazole 2% shampoo that also help to block some of the DHT conversion. Female hair loss, we have multiple options and we can use medications as needed based on the reason diagnosed for the hair loss. Minoxidil, of course, has proven efficacy both men and women and is used topically or it could be used as oral medication if necessary. Another option that we do offer to our patients is to use a topical medication to treat the hair loss. For example, such as what we call the hair boost. Hair boost was developed to contain all medications that known clinically to help to stimulate hair follicle growth. It is a prescription only solution and it does come with uh, two formulations for men and women. Men's formula will include topical finasteride solution with minoxidil, melatonin and DMSO. Each ingredient helps to stimulate hair follicles all the time. It is used topically by applying directly to the skull once a day. Each bottle should last approximately 60 days. For women, we have a similar formula, however with no finasteride. It does come with minoxidil, melatonin, trimcinolone, and DMSO. And of course, 
for other options, we can always consider prescription of certain medications as deemed necessary.